Hey friends, welcome to another video. Sorry about the iPhone camera quality again, but my camera's broken. So yeah, this is what we have to do. Um, but I have just had piles and piles and piles of books accumulating for far too long. So I need to do a book haul so I can put them on my shelves. Um, and I'm also going to actually be selling a couple of, a couple of these books that are in this book haul, I know. But um, I'll explain, I'll explain once I get there. So they're in piles, somewhat organized. Let's just get into it. And I also have an Owlcrate and an Owlcrate Junior box uh, to open at the end. I'll start off with two books that were gifted to me by my dear friend Shani from Shani and Books. If you guys are not subscribed to her, please go and do so because her content is amazing. And um, she sent me some books, like, what the heck? She's so, so kind. So she sent me Fresh by Margot Wood. Um, and she sent me these off my wish list. So they came with these gorgeous notes. And I'm just so grateful for your friendship, Shani. Anyway, Margot was actually one of the co-founders of Epic Reads. Um, if you remember the like tea time videos back in the day, um, this is her debut. And it takes place at the college that Margot actually went to. But apparently it's like super gay and super funny so yeah she got me that and she also got me the other side of beautiful by kim Locke, um because she mentioned this in a video and i'm pretty sure she said it has anxiety representation so i was like oh i need to read that and so she sent it to me shani you are just the bee's knees i hope you're doing the best and then my mum uh sent me two editions of jane eyre that she found at a used bookstore if you don't know i collect editions of jane eyre because it's my favorite book of all time and i just love collecting all the beautiful old editions so she found these two so this this one is a really basic like oxford world's classics edition but you know not mad about it and then look at this are you kidding me it is so vintage i love it and look at this look at this how cool <laughs> yeah so i was very very excited to receive that in the mail because my mom lives ages away um thank you mom you're the best um love you lots and then i was sent three books for review um this one i was sent unsolicited it's family of liars by e lockhart it's the sequel actually no it's the prequel to we were liars and it's about the parents I don't know if I'm going to be reading this because I didn't love We Were Liars. I did when I first read it, but then after some time I was like, mm, no. So yeah, unsure about this one. And then Alan and Unwin sent over My Spare Heart by Jared Thomas. This is a Indigenous Australian YA. It's by an Aboriginal author and it features an Aboriginal main character. I am so excited to check this one out, especially because NADOC week is happening soon in July so I really want to read um, a lot of books by Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples in the month of July and so I can add this to my TBR. And then we have Hip Hop and Hymns and this is a memoir all about Monyo and um, she's an African-Australian woman and it's her story. It's blurbed by Stan Grant who is iconic so it, it's gonna be good. Okay, other books that were sent to me from Alcrate and Alcrate Junior. Um, so Alcrate Junior, um, I have no idea what months these were for. I'm sorry, um, but we're just gonna go through it. These, I know these came in the same box. We have The Mirrorwood by Deva Fagan and this Puffin Chalk, is it Chalk? Yeah, the Puffin Chalk edition of Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. So these came in the same box and I unboxed these in my most recent reading vlog. Um, then the, we have The School for Whatnots by Margaret Peterson Haddix. And we also have A Comb of Wishes by Lisa Stringfellow. So those are some Alcrate Junior books that I got. And then we have some Alcrate editions. We have Gallant. This is my favorite edition of Gallant. It is absolutely stunning. It came with artwork. It's so beautiful. And by the way, I have a discount code that you can use for Alcrate. It's Maximus15. You can get 15% off. Other Alcrate books that came in recently, we have Hotel Magnifique by Emily J. Taylor. Only a Monster by Vanessa Len. And Skin of the Sea by Natasha Bowen. And then a Fairy Loot edition that I bought myself is Heartstopper Volume 2. Because I love Heartstopper, so I, I couldn't miss out on this. 
Um, okay, next we have Illumicrate. These I purchased myself, but I have since cancelled my subscription just because it's super expensive. I feel like, yes, the books that I've gotten so far are absolutely stunning, but like, is it worth paying $70 a month? Mm, probably not. So we have Portrait of a Thief by Grace D. Lee. I'll show you what they look like under the dust jacket. This one I love under the dust jacket. It's so, so pretty. And it is like a heist sort of story about a crew who plans to steal artifacts from, from other countries and give them back. Iconic. Um, then we have Book of Night by Holly Black. Um, I'm very scared to read this, to be honest with you because I don't think it's gonna be good. I don't, I don't think it's gonna be good, but we have it regardless. Then we have Gallant. I am going to be selling this one because I actually gave Gallant two stars um, and I don't need, I have three copies of Gallant, which I'll show you the third copy in a minute. I'll be selling that one as well. Um, just, yeah, not great. Um, then in, I think it was the January Illumicrate, we got two books. We got this Woven Kingdom by Tarhada Murphy, stunning. And we also got a paperback of The Ivory Key. And then the last Illumicrate book I have is A River Enchanted by Rebecca Ross. I love the end papers. Like, I wish that was the cover, for real. <laughs> so moving on, oh, oh no. We have Ice Planet Barbarians and Barbarian Alien by Ruby Dixon. I'm obsessed with this series and they are being re-released in these special editions with new covers basically alien smut so know what you're getting into before you go and check them out um but i absolutely adore them oh yeah here we have the waterstones edition of gallant which is gorgeous but again don't need three copies of a two star book then we have the atlas six by olivia blake which i have read and I believe I've talked about it in my most recent wrap-up. Some other books I've read recently, Book Lovers by Emily Henry. Absolutely love this. It's my favourite Emily Henry so far. On the other hand, we have I Kiss Shara Wheel by Casey McQuiston, which I gave two stars. So I'm going to be selling my copy of this. Very sad. I've also read Crying in H Mart by Michelle Zorner. This is a memoir. Possibly have also talked about that in a wrap-up. If I have, I'll link it. Um, we have The Sad Ghost Club which was really meh for me. So I'm going to be selling this one as well. It's by Liza Meddings. It's like a comic-y type of book. Then we have three new releases by Korean, I believe they're all Korean American authors. So we have Once Upon a Cape Prom by Kat Cho. I'm so excited. I might do a reading vlog just reading these three books because the vibes. Okay, then we have Flip the Script by Lila Lee. This is like sapphic K-drama vibes. Very excited to check that one out. And then we also have I Guess I Live Here Now by Claire Ahn. And this is about a girl whose family decides to move to Seoul. Immediately. The last stack of books, I have two that I got at a discount bookshop. So we have Iron Heart by Nina Varela. I don't remember what happened in Cry's War, but excited to have it nonetheless and then we have The Last House on Needless Street by Catriona Ward. I'm so excited for this one. I've heard so many amazing things and there's a cat in it so five stars. Um, <laughs> and then I ended up buying a book that my best friend Brittany recommended to me. It is The Awakening by Nora Roberts. She recommended it because we both are obsessed with Outlander and she said it has kind of the same vibes but more like fantasy vibes rather than time travel vibes. Um, and I also picked up Verity by Colleen Hoover for a reading vlog that I'm currently doing so you can keep your eye out for that. And the last book finally in this haul is Dawn Shard by Brandon Sanderson. Um, my best friend Kara and I are buddy reading all of Brandon Sanderson's books and we're up to Dawn Shard. So I had to get my own copy and I am going to start it very very soon. I will read it this month. So exciting times. Those are all the books. You can't even see them. The stack go. one of the stacks goes up to here. There is like three other stacks. But anywho, let's get into the two unboxings. So because I'm trash, I've already opened them so I know what's inside. The Alcrate Junior box, this is for the month of... I have no freaking idea. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, um, we have this cute little post-it 
thing. I water words. I don't know. How cute is this? This is inspired by, I believe, what is it called? Nevermore. Nevermore. My brain. She ain't working. Then we've got this super cute um, book cover. So you just put it on your book and it protects it. It is so adorable. It's inspired by the School for Good and Evil. Then we have this really cool pencil case. I absolutely love these. So you can put your pens in here and it stands up by itself like this and they all like poke out the top and then you do this to close it. It's so fun. And then we actually got two books. So we got um, A Wizard of Earthsea by Ursula K. Le Guin. Very intrigued by this, but I've heard it's super boring, but I've also heard it's super good. And the actual book of the month is The Marvelers by Danielle Clayton. Look at that cover. Looks fantastic. Oh my gosh, the end papers. Are you kidding me? A magic school. Look, say less. Say less. I'm there. <laughs> so that's the Alcrate Junior Box. And then the Alcrate Box. This is for May. The Chosen Ones is the theme. Um, so we have this like very compact portable chess set. So instead of the pieces being like big and chunky, look! So cute. And this is inspired by the Raven Cycle. How cool. And you just fold it up like that. Adorbs. Okay, then we have this um, Greek Myths pen set inspired by the Song of Achilles. Very nice, very nice. Now this this I was so excited for. It is the second bowl in the Lord of the Rings bowl collection that they're doing. Like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Obsessed. Absolutely obsessed. Then we have this wooden wall banner inspired by a darker shade of... Oh my gosh. Sorry. I haven't, I hadn't actually opened this one yet, but, um, that is so cool. Ah, I think it says, yeah, it spells out as Travaz, which means to travel. That's really awesome. And then we have a Stunen bookmark inspired by, what is it called? It's the book by June C.L. Tan. I am losing my marbles. I cannot remember anything these days. But look, isn't that gorgeous? Holy dooly. Yes. Oh, and how could I forget the literary luggage pin of the month is Throne of Glass themed. Oh. Very confused as to why it's purple and not green because green is like Terrison's color, but whatever. And the book of the month is Ballad and Dagger by Daniel Jose Older. This is like a urban fantasy. Whoa, first of all, look, um, hello. Oh, yes. Almost 16 years ago, Mateo Matisse's island homeland disappeared into the sea, trying to find their way back home. But the evil that sank their island has finally caught up with them. Oh! Sounds fantabulous. So, thank you, Alcrate and Alcrate Jr. Thank you, publishers. Thank you, Shani. Thank you, me. Thank you for watching. But that is going to be it for today's video. Yeah, I'll see you guys soon in a new one. Goodbye.